As you're coming into Spencer, Indiana off Highway 231, this is one of the first things you'll see. A big billboard advertising the Spencer Pride Community Center. It's fitting for a small community that's held a Pride Festival for more than a decade. But that Pride Festival is going to look a lot different than it has in years past because of a special events ordinance recently passed by Owen County. RTV6's Cornelius Hawker shows us how Spencer Pride plans to move forward with help and support from the community. This is something that's not gonna, not gonna keep us from thriving. Months after Spencer Pride had their best Pride Festival to date, with around 5,000 people descending on the town of a little more than 2,000, it's back to the drawing board for Jonathan Ballish and others at Spencer Pride because of the Owen County Board of Commissioners passing a controversial special events ordinance. We want to have a thriving downtown community. We love our downtown community. We don't want to move to the fairgrounds. We don't want to go to some other private venue elsewhere. Jonathan tells me for the last 12 years, they've been celebrating Pride here in Spencer, Indiana, with the Owen County Courthouse being the center for their celebration. We love the visibility specifically for our LGBTQ Pride Festival that comes with being downtown. But this ordinance now closes off restrooms for pride goers at the courthouse. Same goes for anyone attending any other kind of large event at the courthouse square. The ordinance could create other issues if Spencer Pride decided to ask for permission to use the courthouse lawn, so Jonathan wants to avoid that headache altogether. Well, we are going to be reserving multiple streets downtown. We're working with a lot of different downtown businesses to be more interactive and engaging. I mean, I, I feel like this is just going to be the best Spencer Pride ever. And Jamie Sweeney runs Juniper better. Art Gallery, which is right on the court square. Her support for the Pride Festival can be seen in her storefront window, a sign that dots several other storefronts and doors as well. That's one of the things that's really exciting to me is I feel like the community has really rallied and come together and said, no, you're not stopping us. We are going forward and we're going to make this happen. We've gotten a tremendous outpouring of support from individuals. We've got new sponsor interest. We have a lot of new people who said they either didn't know about our festival or knew about it but hadn't come yet. With all this new interest and support, Jonathan wants everyone to know Spencer Pride 2020 is going to be bigger and better than it's ever been before, allowing the true colors of his community to shine through. We want to show what our community really is. It's a very welcoming, loving place, and it, all we need to do is, is provide the forum, the platform for them to show that, and they absolutely do. Now, this is the ordinance right here, and we're going to have it posted in the story in the RTV6 app. I reached out to Owen County Board of Commissioners President Jeff Brothers, and he told me the ordinance isn't targeting any group or organization, but put in place to protect the courthouse. Well, Conrad, it looks like that you marched around, you visited a lot of people in this area to get their perspective on it. Did you talk to anybody that agreed with the council president? Well, I was down there two times for several hours, and whether it was someone I was talking to on the street, local businesses, or even some people in the courthouse, I couldn't find anyone who thinks this ordinance is a good idea, and I got the feeling it's been a headache for everyone since it was proposed back in August. All right, we'll see how these organizations adjust to having this new ordinance in place. We will. All right, thanks, Cornelius. Yeah.